Hi, it's John here. These are the steps you need to follow if you wish to install Android Oreo on your Windows 10 computer. What you need to start with is two bits of software, the Java Development Kit or JDK and Android Development Studio. To search in your favorite search engine for the Java JDK download. Now ensure you get the latest available version. The latest one currently at the time of filming is version nine. So click download on the download page, accept the license agreement, and then download the version for Windows. Click on save. And whilst this is downloading, you can start downloading Android Studio as well. Tick to say you accept the terms and conditions and start the download. Once you have your downloads, the first one you want to install is the Java Development Kit. So double click on there, accept any user account control warnings. Click next, click next again, and next one more time. Just accept all the defaults. Once it's finished, click close, and then install Android Studio. Keep clicking next. On this, ensure you have Android Virtual Device selected. That will allow you to run the virtual machines. Click Next, 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 and Install. Once it's installed, click Finish and start Android Studio. Click on the Tools menu once it's loaded, select Android, and then go to the SDK Manager. Here you'll see a list of SDK platforms. The one we want to install as you can see here is the Android 8 Oreo, which is currently installed. Tick the box, press OK, and press OK to confirm you're going to download these bits and pieces. The window will pop up showing you the status of the downloads. Once it's finished, click on the Finish button. Now click on Tools again. Select Android and then go to the Android Virtual Device Manager. Click on the Create Virtual Device button in the middle and then select the device you wish to create virtually. You have a list here, a different selection of screen sizes and phone models. I'm going to select the Pixel 2 XL, which has the largest screen. Click on Next. Now you'll be able to select the image you're going to install on this virtual device. And for this video, we're going to download Oreo. Click on the download button or the download link. A license agreement will pop up. Click the accept button and then click next. And the download will begin. Once it's finished, click on the finish button and you'll then see the system image in the list available to select. Click on next. If like me you are running Hyper-V on your computer you will need to turn off Hyper-V. You'll get an option here to run a batch file which just stops the service from running and stops it from manually starting. You will need to reboot your computer as well once that's done but for this video I'm just going to skip past that. Name your Android virtual device. I'm just going to call it Pixel 2 XL Android Oreo 8.0 and leave the emulator performance to automatic. You wouldn't normally need to change it, but you can if you feel like you need to. The device frame can be left ticked. Again, you'll get the recommendation to turn off Hyper-V. Here are the other settings you can configure for the virtual device. Set your memory. Set the number of CPU cores that are in use by the phone. And also the RAM. I'm going to give this two gigs of RAM. And I'm going to increase the SD card to a thousand megabytes or one gigabyte. Just because then you can have a bit of room to play if you're installing apps and other bits and pieces.
configure any other settings you wish and then click on the finish button. As you can see here, I hadn't rebooted, so I do a quick reboot before I can start the device. So here we are, I've rebooted, Hyper-V has been disabled and I'm going to click the play button on my virtual device. It's going to pop up and say that HAXM is required. Now this is an advanced uh, emulator for accelerator performance. So if your computer supports this, then that's brilliant. You can then set a few bits and pieces here. So the maximum amount of RAM that these, this system can use. This isn't the actual virtual device itself. It's just the actual emulation software. Once that's done, your new phone will load up. You can see here some of the controls you get floating on the bar on the right. Android starts up straight away, it doesn't go through any setup. And we can go into the settings here and just confirm the system version we're running. And you can see here it's 8.0.0. So there we have it. Hopefully you found this video useful. And if you have any questions or queries, please leave them down below and I'll try and help out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. See you in the next video.